Once again, peaceful protests turn violent and lead to arrest in the capital city. Providence police arrested nearly two dozen people following the protests outside the public safety complex after last night's rally got out of control. And Rhode Island State Police announcing another arrest this morning. 12 News reporter Logan Wilbur was in court as a majority of the people arrested last night were arraigned today. Logan. Following a night of protests calling for justice for Jamal Gonsalves, 14 of the people arrested were arraigned today in Providence District Court. <laughs> Off-road vehicles send a loud message during a night of protests as Jamal Gonsalves remains in the hospital. Tensions between protesters and police began to rise after the protesters marched city streets to the Providence Public Safety Complex, ultimately leading to 21 arrests. 14 of those were arraigned Wednesday morning in District Court. Most notably, 27-year-old David Hedges of Woonsocket is facing two counts of assault with a dangerous weapon for allegedly throwing fireworks at police officers. He's also facing a single count of possession of those fireworks. Hedges received $5,000 bail from the judge and is scheduled for a pretrial hearing in January. 25-year-old Gabriel Munoz of Little Compton appeared with multiple cuts and bruises to his face. He is facing a single count for assaulting a police officer as well as resisting arrest and disorderly conduct. Of the 12 others to appear before a judge, 10 are facing a single count of disorderly conduct, and two are facing disorderly conduct as well as resisting arrest. One 39-year-old male facing a disorderly conduct charge entered a no-contest plea and received six months probation. All others received $1,000 bail and will return to court for a pretrial hearing on December 10th for their alleged roles in the violence following the rally for Jamal Consults on Tuesday. And it is worth noting, prior to the protest, the family of Jamal Gonsalves says they wanted people to protest peacefully and that they did not condone violence. Reporting in Providence, Logan Wilbur, 12 News.